Good afternoon, everybody. Pastor Mike here as we are gathering up for midday prayer. Let me make sure I've got us live and in person here and that the technology is cooperating. Um, I'm hoping that it will be and um, looking forward to spending some time with you in prayer um, today as we um, bring to a close um, another week and uh, you know, um, spend time together uh, praying for our siblings in Christ. Um, good to see that Linda and Mike are with us. Um, it's a beautiful day out, a little chilly this morning, but it's gotten a lot better. So just a beautiful day um, that the Lord has made and given over to us. We can rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. So we're going to start our prayer time together as we center ourselves, as we breathe in the breath of God. And we breathe out our cares and our concerns. And we breathe in the love of God. And we breathe out our doubts and our despairs. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our fears and our frustrations. Welcome, Gail. Welcome, Lynn. Happy Friday to all. Debbie Rowe. Let's see, Gina, Tom. So I got a good old group gathering up together. Um, I mentioned yesterday. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. I mentioned yesterday that um, uh, this coming Sunday is Good Shepherd Sunday. Uh, and so the psalm will be Psalm 23. We won't read it in church. I think, uh, our uh, quartet is going to be singing a song there uh, that kind of paraphrases Psalm 23. So I thought we might hear Psalm 23 today. Um, and I'm going to do something a little bit different for us in our reading time. I'm going to project this image, for those of you who are on the computer, of one of the stained glass windows um, from the, the church so that you can kind of have something to focus on as you hear these words. So I'm going to put the, wind, the image up in the stream um, get rid of my image and um, uh, uh, actually I better leave my image up here to make sure that you can hear me but you focus on this image here this is the window on the windows here um, about, that's um, in, the, in the church itself so here are the words from the psalmist the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. You know, I, I think I the first time I ever remember hearing Psalm 23 was uh, actually in third grade in Mrs. Coots's class. Uh, we were studying poetry, and whether it was subversive or not, I don't know. Well, she actually um, used Psalm 23 as an example of poetry in our poetry lesson. Uh, yeah, I tell that story now and people think, oh my goodness, somebody used a Bible verse in a public school system setting. Right? We lived in a different time back then, right? Um, and I remember that, that my grandmother loved the Psalm. Uh, she would... Uh, she would recite it quite often. And we've all heard this psalm uh, countless times. This, it's one that's used a lot of times in funerals. And it's, it, there's always this, this kind of solace that comes from this psalm, right? It's, it's a peaceful kind of thing. There's some hope in it. Um, you know, I always have this image of lush fields, you know, the shepherd. You know, there, there's this flock of sheep and the shepherds kind of just, you know, guiding them along um, and um, kind of leading them forward, uh, caring for them. It's, it's, there's always this serene 
nature or serenity, I guess, that comes from this particular psalm. Um, and it is hopeful and it's hope filled. But what I remember, I learned several years ago, was in a, a session, somebody was talking about this particular psalm. Um, probably may have been getting ready for um, preaching on a good shepherd Sunday. And the verse six, they spent some time on, <clears throat> and did a really big Greek lesson, which you don't need to go through all that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But we hear the word, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And, we, and I, I think we, that sounds so peaceful again. <clears throat> Literally, what the psalmist is saying is um, that God's goodness and mercy relentlessly pursues us. So I think about that in terms of how that God's uh, relentless pursuit or God's mercy um, uh, relentlessly pursuing us. Uh, how that affects the way we live in the world and knowing that um, that while the world may be telling us that God's out to try to catch us doing something wrong, uh, punishing us. Uh, uh, I think the psalmist reminds us that in actuality, God's mercy is what's relentlessly pursuing us. And that, that God's mercy is that action of God that doesn't give us what we deserve. Um, you know, and so... I think mean, there's hope in there. Uh, there's hope for God's people. Uh, a reminder that in all that we face, even when we feel like that maybe the shepherd has abandoned us, that in all actuality, God's goodness and God's mercy, God's grace and God's mercy, let's call it those two things, are relentlessly pursuing us in every moment of our lives. And God will not rest until we rest in God's presence forever. Amen. So we talked about a grace. We talked about mercy um, and God's relentless pursuit of us through those two things. Our folks from Camp Hill are going to sing to us about amazing grace. We've heard this before. It's one of my favorite renditions of this particular song. Hear and enjoy, and then we'll gather back up to, um, well, I just got rid of it. Um, so we're not going to hear from them. Um, what we are going to do is we're going to pray. Sorry about that. I hit the wrong button, um, but we're going to pray. Uh, and um, uh, that will be our time together. So let us pray and give thanks for God's grace and mercy. Good and gracious God, we come to you today. Sun shining, breeze blowing trees budding, signs of life, signs of your love. And God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy that seeks us out, that relentlessly pursues us every day of our life. It's your grace and your mercy that gives us hope. It's your grace and your mercy that gives us healing, that breaks away our chains and helps us to see that we are in fact your people. So we thank you for that. We also pray God that you will relentlessly pursue with your healing presence, those in our lives that need to feel your healing touch. Howard Ginsburg, Marianne and Mark Esposito, Kathy, Noah Hall, Margaret Fulcomer, Shelley McLaughlin, Laura Dara, Terry, Ben Lehman, Howard Fails, Rebecca Neal, Jeff, Glenn Hardesty, Kim Brady, Carol Brzezinski, Betty Crandall, Connie Koss, Charles McCarthy, Susan Bethke, McKenna Day, Esther Merson, Barbara Dareth, Debbie Moss, Jane Cox, Kirsten, Beth Webb, Lauren Mueller, Ruth Gosmer, Kathy Miller, Tracy Strimple, Sue Sewell, Beverly Schoberlein, and those that we name aloud are silently in our hearts at this time. Hutch, Wynette, Sean. May their 
May, may your presence come to them in a way that gives them, high, gives them hope. And now we end our prayers with the, the words that our Lord Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And because technology can be our friend some days, here is our song from our friends at Camp Hill. God bless us as we hear their words.
Amen. You are forever mine. Words we say to God, and most importantly, words God says to us. And now, we breathe in the breath of God. And we breathe out our tension and our turmoil. We breathe in the love of God. And we breathe out our haste and our apprehensions. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our work and our worry. And now, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace today and always. Have a great weekend. Hope to see you or worship with you on Sunday. Um, if you're joining us on the live stream or if you're joining us in person, Pastor Tamika will be with you on Monday for midday prayer. God bless.